Hello, welcome to StudioPixel. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the dynamic node in uh, in MASH, which has been included. So, uh, we are going to recreate a similar uh, scene like this. If you play this, it's a very simple scene. It's uh, exactly like any other dynamics uh, calculation. But this is how you can use them in MASH, which can help you out, you know, uh, for creating uh, motion graphics through in 3D. So let's see how we can do that. Just reset the scene. Okay. Now uh, just let take a plane and a sphere. Okay. Just scale it. Now. <clears throat> Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, fine. Now select this particular sphere and go to FX, Mesh, Create Mesh Network Option Box. Just uh, go to Reset Settings, and as I have already done this one, just change it to the Grid Mode and Distribution Type, and hit Apply and Close. Now what will happen? It will create a certain number of uh, uh, sphere on the grid. Now, if if you are if you're creating this uh, on, a, on this particular grid and after creating this if you select this uh, objects which in the outliner I've deliberately uh, deliberately you know uh, turn on this outliner because I will be required this for on and off so if you select the mesh uh, retop a uh, mesh one retop or mesh and if you try to move them up you cannot you simply cannot because uh, it's it's a retopo of your original mesh which is a piece fair one and which is which is already been hidden so for moving this upwards or or moving it any direction or rotation or anything you will be required one more uh, node which is called the offset node so go to offset add offset node and uh, you can see the result offset node has been added and you will have that your x y and z position rotation and scale let's increase the height yeah now uh, i want a little more number of uh, spheres over here go to mash uh, sorry mash distribute and here you can use this as uh, to increase the number of uh, spheres over here now let's suppose make them two sorry two 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 yeah and sorry no it's three 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 and also decrease their distance cool no, that's fine that's pretty compact now if uh, I now we have to uh, we, we can proceed towards the uh, dynamics node now go to the mash and hit dynamics add dynamic node now immediately you'll see the dynamic node has been added and this is pretty much similar to the Maya's old uh, bullet dynamics and you can see this is the bullet solver that has been uh, connected with uh, 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 with the with the mash so if you select on this uh, you will get the bullet uh, bullet solver shape and there are pretty important uh, you know information that I'm going to uh, come down let's discuss about the dynamic node now the first uh, the, the dynamic node you will see very similar uh, options over out there one is a collision shape which how how you want to uh, uh, set your collision sets like box sphere capsule convex hull cylinder or or you want to create the mesh uh, select the mesh as your as your uh, collision so i left it from for, for this particular scene into automatic because we are dealing with a you know a very primitive shapes which will actually automatically uh, taken by by maya uh, uh, it will it will be taken by uh, by uh, sorry uh, it will be taken according to the shape it, it is having like box will take the box shape a sphere will take the sphere spherical shape now you, we can see this uh, the spherical uh, sorry the collisional objects are ta -ta -ta, from where somewhere 
Anyway. Okay, so the collision type is automatic. I'm just I'm just missing them somewhere here. No, 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 no. Anyway, so for so in the dynamic dynamics node, if you see, they're very pretty similar. First, if uh, first of all is the collision shape, what kind of shape it is? Automatic, dan box, spherical, capsule, convex, uh, convex hull, or the cylindrical, or it will take uh, the entire mesh system. So I'll just leaving it automatic because it's an automatic. Uh, it, it will take an automatic uh, uh, shape because I'm just dealing with my. A very primitive objects now uh, collision shape friction rolling friction dampening rolling dampening and bounces this is all connected with the physical properties of, of any other objects which are uh, you know uh, very much uh, familiar terms uh, while you are using any any sort of dynamics now you go down and you will get your uh, maximum velocity collision jitter which is very important we'll see how the collision jitter actually uh, varies and as well as the initial velocity which is also very important right now i'm not going to use any initial velocity because i'm going to leave my solver to take out this uh, you know bounciness and all uh, uh, to to calculate and uh, of course uh, ta -ta -ta. If you have any bias, much bias positioning strength and rotational strength right now i'm not going to uh, you know uh, be, you know uh, change all of these settings because uh, this is not my uh, uh, this is not something which, which I'm going to discuss over here there these, these are very very uh, a conventional uh, uh, you know uh, dynamic uh, calculations that you, you, you see or in in any any sort of a dynamic and uh, any sort of dynamic solvers on even if you go to the bullet solvers, you will see the same thing, solve solver settings you, where your uh, start frame uh, uh, calculation will be there. I mean, if you want to start from your uh, dynamic calculation from the frame one or you want something else. Now, here is something which is very, very interesting and important when you are using this uh, uh, dynamics. That is where you want to use this ground. Uh, you can see there's a dotted ground over there which has been already created automatically when you are using the dynamic calculation a dynamic ma a node now you can set up your gravity from here in direction collision margin the distance between the two objects and also the frame rate which is a very important one now if we don't want the ground to be there and what will happen now f first let let me show you what will happen in the very default pose just change to 200 and just play it and it will start calculating cool now this has been started and you can see now this has been interacting with the ground now i don't want my ground to be there i want my ground uh, over here two things you can do one thing is you just bring this up into your grid which is okay i mean that's fine but what if i want my custom shape to be an collision object so what i'll do is i'll just turn off the ground and here you can see there is a collider objects and if you uh, if you roll over your mouse on this open space uh, it shows accepts mesh so that is an indication that what kind of object that you can actually put over there so I have already p-plane so I'll just do, do that either middle mouse or left mouse click and drag and leave it over here and you can see it's been already added now if you hit play done cool right so that's how that's easy this is but all of these things are pretty uh, uh, pretty simple but what I felt something uh, really really interesting and very invaluable information for this one is if you are going to create a custom uh, shape you need to you know remember few things which uh, which I f accidentally find it out you know uh, let's take another plane just scale it up and put it over so right now I want this object to make a collision so it's very simple 
go to your bullets uh, bullet solver just take your plane 2 p plane 2 and add right fine let's see how it works i'm just changing this uh material color a bit just to you know oops that's too bright better still bright yeah that's better so what i will do is i'll just let's play play this thing and you know what is going to happen yeah this is colliding perfect right now what if i want to rotate this one it's pretty obvious right it will just ro uh, start rolling hell wait a minute this is not happening why the thing is something is actually hold up i mean so i have made a rotation so there are some histories most probably which i have to delete so go to edit delete by type history now let's play still nothing the reason is i have deleted my shape history and everything but this has already certain uh uh you know uh uh positional and rotational uh also which is something which might you know uh holding this up to uh, make the calculation so I'll, what i'll do is i'll go to modify and freeze transformation so what i will do is now it's perfectly working right cool so this is something which is very very important you need to freeze your transformation before you making any changes after you uh, are making a collision object so that's just, that was a statement let's find it out whether it's true or not let's take another plane just scale it up a little right now rotate this right and then what I will do is go to the bullet solver, just change this color into another one. Let me wait. Yeah, that's fine. So go to the bullet solver and add this plane three also as a collision object, right? Now hit play. Let's see what is happening. It's actually not colliding at all it's it's colliding on on its on its uh, on its uh, creation point see see it's colliding as this is still a plane it's not slanting so i have rotated this before i converted it to a a collider objects so that is even after that that is not working so what we have to do is we have to remember that these all values has to be the translation values has to be zeroed out or, or if you are not freezing those transformation values it is not going to work so go to modify freeze transformation and just play it that's it your object is perfectly working on on as a as a collision object so this is a this is the this is a very important point that you have to remember in in this dynamic node that is apart from all all of this very basic ones which you see those in uh, any any sort of a dynamic solvers those are there the friction level the bounciness and all this those are those are absolutely very basic and very usual one but this is something which is which uh, which is very very important in in this particular uh, solver or oh, sorry in the in this particular regard that because we are going to use a lot of different uh, uh, transformation values in in uh, in your uh, uh, in your presentation so if you are using them as a collision object this is very important and please please do freeze transformation while uh, using them any uh, while using any objects or any any proximation uh, as your uh, collision object and please uh, freeze them and use them as a collision object so that's it for for this video thank you very much please subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, follow us on twitter and facebook thank you